Welcome back to more Let's Play Lufia Blind. In the last episode, we made it here to the town of Aris, and we're told about the Tower of Grief that seems to be off to the west where the professor is, so we are headed in that direction. Trying to go through another lovely cave. With more with marsh and stuff over there. Great. I don't think we have enough well, I think we have enough magic for float, so we should be fine. Jiren's down to four digits now, which is pretty nice. Alright, magic floats. Bam. There we go. Get over this. Oh. Of course we get a counter an encounter right on top of that stuff. At least that cave wasn't very very um long. Alright, Tower of Grief. Operation Climb Tower, commence. Triple chest, wow. Dragon egg, revive, stone cure. Okay, let's just drive back down then. How convenient. Oh, Halloween? Okay, I didn't know Halloween was an enemy and not a freaking holiday. Jeez. Hooray for pallet swap enemies. That's all I can say, really. Then again, weird names isn't really a isn't a foreign concept in this game. <coughs> Spell names. Left or right? Hello, yeoman. For once, this that actually makes a little bit of sense because I think yeomans were like, I mean, maybe not necessarily archers, but they were like a historical thing. I don't even know. Like I said in the last episode, I was ter I'm terrible with history, so I'm probably just spouting nonsense. Would not surprise me is what I do every video, so. Thank you for stoning me, you crazy jar. Stupid thing. Alright. Jerry, and heal me, please. Thank you. Alright. Let's go left. Actually, hold on. We need to heal a little bit. Lufia, Jaren, and Orporo. There we go. Alright, there's a level up for Jaren. She didn't learn anything new, unfortunately. But that's okay. Alright. We don't need any healing, so we're good. Alright, up the stairs. Let's see. Actually, I wonder... I'm wondering if, like, to the right is... Yeah, there's probably some loot or something over there, since there's a staircase up on this side of here, so there's not going to be a staircase coming up to this floor from that floor down there. Wouldn't there be? I mean, it seems logical to me, but... We shall see. After this battle, I'm just going to, like, drop down and see, if there's an see what's over to the right before we progress on. If these guys would stop shooting us and taking up so much time with their freaking slow text boxes. Die! Uh, one more. One more. There we go. Jeez. Sometimes these enemies take up so much time. Alright. Oop. Caught the corner. Can't go through the corner. Why'd they have to put a corner tile there? Could they have, like, pushed it one more to the side? Let's see, what is over here? Treasure, just like I said. Purple ring, let's see, what does that do? Okay, so it sees increases defense, intelligence, agility, and magic resistance. Huh. Hmm. And again, you have to... Wondering, it's definitely better than the blue ring. But... Wondering. Okay, so that. Okay, so that increases attack too. Uh, maybe we should give that to Agoro. Uh, lowers his. Okay, no, it lowers his magic resistance. Uh, no, let's give it to Jaren. Lowers his shield a little bit, but raises everything else. Yes. It's pretty high agility decrease though. Huh. I think it would make her equal with Lufia, so... Let's do it. Alright. Back up the stairs we go! 
Yay! One thing that I found that kind of sucks about recording these is that my headset, I might have mentioned this before, but my headset hurts my ears after a while because it's kind of small on my head. And uh, it's just that they headset, the headphones themselves are just kind of small and they squeeze my ears a little bit. Though I had to get this particular kind of headset because um, for some reason, whoever designed my laptop is HP, but whoever, whoever the geniuses at HP were decided to put, to make the, um, my headphone jack and microphone jack into one jack. So I had to find a headset that had like a combining piece that put them both into a single jack. So that's why I had to get this headset and now another one. So, great, you do great work, HP. Jeez. So I'm wondering, maybe maybe that, that combiner piece will work with other headsets. I'm not sure. Well, I'll, I might check it out in the future if I can find a headset for relatively cheap. So, I'm not going to go out of my way to go find another thing like that, but then again, it might, you know, save my ears from, it might save my ears from hurting so much, so it might be worse, I don't know. Okay, so it seems like those Halloween guys have kind of high defense. It takes a little while to knock them down, and they were they were throwing up magic shields too, which makes me think that magic is like their weakness, and they're trying to account for that. Oh boy, multiple staircases. Let's see, pick top left. Oh, you know what? No, there's treasure there. I want that. Ex potion, high magic. Let's see, is there? I can't really see. Okay, there's another treasure chest up there. Alright, another chest up here. Double chest, actually. Let's see. Revive. Stone cure. Nothing new. I think we still have all this stuff already. I just. I walk up the stairs. I didn't, don't even get to walk a step and you throw an enemy at me. Come on, game. Game! Okay, I am really starting to hate those yeoman guys because they take so long with their stupid freaking text box that that's, uh, appears when they. Uh, I want to chest something. Does this heal? Yes. Okay, that's that is a that's kind of what I was assuming. Anyway, they they're freaking when they shoot arrows at you. It takes their text box takes forever in a century because it has to go through each person. Plus the the arrows do so much damage to, to Lufia. It's just, ah! Really want to kill you guys. See, watch. Two, three, four. And then you got, just imagine like, I had three of those back to back. Just waiting, just waiting that long, unable to speed that up. Just, ah! Go faster! Jeez. By the way, I apologize if I made your ears bleed earlier when I shouted, so... I just, I felt like I needed to do that. That was relevant. Ah! Not more, you guys! I am gonna, like, yell my throat hoarse, raging at those guys. Seriously. I already feel a little bit of it in my voice already. <laughs> so don't be surprised if I... If my voice becomes hoarse before the end of this episode. I w honestly wouldn't be. Okay, so... Magic definitely makes quick work of the Halloween guys, so I guess maybe I was right on my assumption that they're weak to magic. Let's see. Diamond or rope? Let's go for diamond. Whoop! Hold on, guys. Hooray for getting interrupted by a freaking phone! That was a healing, wasn't it? Yeah. I wonder if that was, if that was HP. I wonder if the other one's MP. You guys are good! Oh, I'm already tired out from yelling at those freaking guys. Jeez. Let's see. Yep, MP. Yay! So that probably means there's gonna be like a boss or something. So let's see. Hello, guy. Give me your treasure. Thank you. Flake, Elder of Arras. Okay, that was kind of weird that we ran around just to be in formation and talk to this guy. It's like it was important for us to be in this particular formation. Whatever. Feel the energy, and you'll know right away. 
Hmm, strong power. I sense great ability. People are always more than they appear to be. There's more than meets the eye. <laughs> obvious, for, obvious reference there. Gorov, don't be rude. The truth is always best. More importantly, who removed the magic barrier to the village? That would be Lufia. Your powers will grow. I sense much potential. Oh yes, but you've only begun to understand. Let me help you. Close your eyes. Awake! I call upon those powers yet untouched. Come forth! Ooh, hey. Maximum HP increases by 10. Nice. You learn through battle. That's the hard way. Had you studied, you'd have discovered it earlier. I sense a great imbalance. I fear we may see the return of Douse and the Sinistrals. We're looking for Professor Rail. Do you know him? He returned to the lab. You just missed him. Well, that was great. Well, at least we did get come and get uh, Lufia's powers. He gets a little bit more Lufia. Ah! Like I was saying, at least we got stuff for Lufia. So can we can we escape out of here? I wonder. Nope. Okay. So at least it's not that far though. Should just fall down and then. Okay. No, it's a little bit further. <sighs> so not only are those guys just plain annoying, they can also call for reinforcements. That's just great. Makes my rage for them even deeper. That's gonna be like the title of this episode, like Yeoman Rage or something. I hope that's. I sincerely hope that's not gonna be offensive to anybody. If I do do that, maybe I should just go with something safer that doesn't doesn't have the potential for offending anyone. Maybe that'd be the safer option. I don't know. That will be decided later. Almost forgot to hit the record button again. Great. Uh, let's see, let's just warp to RS. Do 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 do. RS. There we go. All right. Let's see. Let's heal up real quick, and then we shall go. Actually, no. He said he returned to the lab, didn't he? That's back at freaking Odal. Great. Well, we were we went to the wrong place. Oh well. It's, it's not like it's that far anyway. Let's see, Jaren, warp to Odin. All right, there we go. All right. It is very convenient to be able to warp. Then again, it does cut out more. It does is a mean less enemy encounters, which might mean grinding later on. But oh well. If we have to do grinding, I'll just do it off screen. It's not like it's going to be that big a deal. Now we gotta find the professor here, since he's apparently back here. Uh, what do you- you have anything to say? Nope. Should be lab one, reach your, okay. Lab one from the basement, gotcha. Let us go to said lab one. It's probably like the- the number one on the- Let's see, Shy lab one's west, yeah. Probably- there's probably the number on the freaking floor that tells- Uh, around the corner. Let's see, is it, yes, there's a number right here, so just go, just follow the numbers, everyone. Great lesson for everyone. Alright, this place, yeah, I remember this place now. This is like back in Platina, isn't it? I should just warp there if I'd known, oh, okay, there's a ship here. Hmm. I wonder how they got past the whirlpool. If that even is a whirlpool that's there. Let's see. Hello, Professor Elm. Turn people into frogs. Wow. Okay. Frog to people machine, but he came back as a snake. <laughs> Alrighty then. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to go through. I never want to see a lizard's face as long as I live. <laughs> okay. Looking for real shy. Would that be you? Yes. I'm the genuine. I am the genuine. The, almost. I thought that said gen, genuine rail Shia for a second there. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, something tells me we're gonna have to fight something. Because we're fighters. Oh, okay. Don't you dare! <laughs> We'll still be longer. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. I never really thought about it. Where are your eyes, anyway? <laughs> I'm not always looking at your hair. Oh, boy. Right, we're not here to talk about hair. Exactly what I was thinking. Falcon. Okay, so it can... Go underwater, and it can fly through the air, huh? Interesting. So it's like an air- it's like a submarine and an airship combined into one. That's pretty neato. Let us see what this falcon looks like. Okay, interesting. Covered with dust. The winds are a little chipped. There's a hole in the ceiling. Oh yeah, that's probably where. It's probably how it gets out of here. Never used Falcon 4, have you? How'd you know that? Well, anyone can tell just by looking at it. I'll give you a demonstration. Okay. I'm saying you can. Are you having second thoughts? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Let's go. We need, we need this ship to find the dual blade. Head is half speed, huh? Try to dive. Down periscope! Oh, yeah. Get to see the underwater of the place. Pipe down? Oh, that's a terrible pun. Oh, okay, so that's just like a place you can go up out of the water. I see. It's a slight problem. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. Alright, Shy Lab 3 later. Okay, so apparently that's just not a whirlpool that stops them. Awkward silence. <laughs> okay. Shy Lab 3, huh? Alright. Wherever that is. It might be over there, like, Platina. Oh, hey, so we can finally, uh... Oh, no, this is where Platina is. Okay. So we can finally sail the seven seas. Yay! But there's still enemies. Great. Should've known. Psycho Clam. I thought clams lived at, like, the bottom of the ocean and not, at the, not in the middle of the water. It's like if you if you see like a clam floating on the water, it's dead because they got air in its shell or something. Something I learned it like when I was younger. I don't even I don't even know. It's probably not true. And I'm just spouting nonsense like I usually am. Would like to kill these guys sometime soon though. We're almost at episode mark two. So See if we can make it. Okay, Luffy is almost close to his level up, so see if we can't make it to the lab that he was saying about. Because he said it was straight west. That is a very odd colored starfish. I thought starfish were like orange or yellow or something, not green. And again, I'm no marine biologist, so. Could be a species of starfish that is green. It, shouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. Or it shouldn't surprise me, I guess, is the better word to use there. Alright, there's level up for Luffy. I learned Blast. Okay, that's probably like a powerful fire spell or something. Okay, this is probably it, so... I think we're gonna go ahead and just stop and call it quits here. So, next time on Let's Play Luffy of Blind, we're gonna go into this place, wherever it is. Whatever, whatever it is. I'm assuming it's the Lab 3, like the professor was saying. But, whatever it is, we'll explore it in the next episode. So, I will see you guys then. Bye now. Take care.